welcome to the directions for Spreadsheet 7. As you can see in the directions, um, these items were ordered by Harry's Salon for opening their new hair salon, and we're going to finish their invoice, which is a way of explaining their bill, for ordering all of these things. And a couple of things are going to get a discount, like they're on sale. So number one tells you your font and font size and everything. So your items are column A, they're buying 25 and 15, here's your quantity, how many of each they're buying in column B. How much each one costs is in column C. And these dotted lines at the bottom mean that there should be no totals on those two columns at all. And step two tells you right away you're going to make a new column in D called subtotal. And we're just going to multiply these two together. So remember that starts with an equal sign and you just click on your cell, hit the asterisk for multiply, click, click on the other cell and hit enter. And then you can copy that formula down. Do not copy it into the bottom cell. This is When you get to the bottom here in row D, you're going to do the sum and add up the column. Number four tells you to make another column beside that, that'll be in column E, for making a discount. But the important thing a lot of people miss, if you read step five, it says that Harry's gets a 5% discount on anything they order more than 10 items of. So you have to look at the quantity column. So they ordered 25 hair dryers, which that's more than 10, and 15 curling irons, which is more than 10. So those two things are gonna get a discount off the subtotal. The other three items, no discount. So they don't get those on sale, they pay full price. And I uh, also highlighted in the directions that it's a 5%, which is 0 0.05, and a lot of people type that in wrong. You've got to put 0 0.05, or you're giving them the wrong amount of a discount. And then give it a light shading. All right, to the right of that column, so after the discount, so that's up to column F now, I believe, you're going to create a column for the total price. So that's going to be whatever the subtotal was in column D minus any discounts in E. Okay, that's what you're going to end up with in column F. So that's what it says, to subtract the discount from the subtotal. Okay, there's three things that just have no discount. Okay, they're still buying them, they're just not on sale. Okay, across the bottom row, do the sum to get totals of all the columns except those first two that I have lines in. And then it tells you to click in row one and insert a row, merge the cells and put a title. Now that's all part one, okay? Part two, I'm asking you to look at your spreadsheet and answer some questions. So there's actual questions that you have to be able to look at the spreadsheet and decipher your data so that I know that you understand what you're reading in your spreadsheets. And this spreadsheet is really important and that you get it right and understand it because it's basically helping you get ready for the project assignment, which is 50 points. So pay attention to your directions and you should do great on this because we've been building up to this all along.